Hello everyone, my name is Jesse and welcome back to another Bakugan review. Today we're going to be taking a look at Chaos Wolfurio, who is Wraith's Guardian Bakugan in the first arc of Mectanium Surge. Uh, he is a Chaos Bakugan as you can see here, and one of the last ones I need for my collection, so I'm pretty excited to have him. So yeah, I want to get into him and just talk about him. Uh, I don't expect this video to be too, too long. But, uh, yep, Chaos right there, so anime accurate, and he definitely has lost a lot of color compared to the show. I'll pull up some pictures here in a second so we can take a look, but overall, he's feeling pretty good. Uh, I believe this is diecast metal, at least on the side there. Can't 100% tell, but it does feel a bit harder, so that's a good sign at least. I did get maybe a diecast one. It's, it's a little difficult to tell on these little rims, but it does feel very similar to my Raisinoid, so I believe it's diecast, which is awesome. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and pop him open. There's not too much to see on the outside here, just a really cool design um, on this, like, metallic right there. Really cool, and then, of course, like, the little lightning bolt things are really nice, but I think most of Wolforio comes out when he actually pops open, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, gonna be using this old ketchup card to open him. It's yellowing, if you can tell right there. Um, yeah. Let's go ahead and pop him open. Actually, I'll get I'll do a roll. I think that'll be more more better than just dropping him. Oh, okay. Mctanium search just doesn't roll. All right, good enough. <laughs> yeah. So this is Wolfurio. Um, he does have a little horn that I can pop up. All right, there we go. And then of course his feet come out. I'm pretty sure he's based off a of Marvel Bakugan as well. I'll have to look it up here in a second, but I think he is. All right. Anything else I'm missing that he might have manual parts for on the back here? Nothing. All right. Yeah, the feet are definitely die cast. So that's cool. Nice. Actually makes it worth the price I paid. So I paid 65 for this plus shipping and tax. It was about 75, which I wasn't very, very happy with. Um, I've seen Wolfurio sell for about 50 to 60. Um, but recently everyone's been posting them for like 70 plus, so I feel like I got charged a little bit more than I wanted to, but he is diecast, which, you know, wasn't listed in the description, which usually never is. So the fact that I did get him diecast, maybe that, maybe that makes up for it just a little bit. I think I'd be okay paying that. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at him, uh, just do a quick spin here. Uh, and then I want to also pull up pictures of him from the show, so I'll go ahead and pull those up so you can take a look. As you can see, totally different color scheme in the show. He's got a lot more yellow and blue, which looks really, really, really good. And uh, I don't know, he's cool. He's a cool character as an Ethian Bakugan um, with Rafe. He kind of comes in towards the, the middle of the first arc of Mectanium Surge with Boulderon. I like him a lot better than Boulderon personality-wise. He reminds me a lot of Aranaut, which, you know, they're both like very knight-esque Bakugan, like, you know, Gotta protect everything, which I really like. He does have Baku Nano, which is Lanzado. I do not have it. I can't find it anywhere. I have looked for it for almost, it, it's going on a month, maybe two months now, and I've had no one tell me anything. Um, I haven't even seen them online. So I've been looking. I'd love to get his Baku Nano because it's like a shield and like a pole arm, and you can attach them to like the undersides of his arms right here. So I really want it for that reason. Um, this is also interesting. What is what is going on? Okay. <laughs> Weird. Yeah, so you can I didn't alright, that's that is interesting. <laughs> I didn't know he could do that, but yeah, his Baku Nano goes on these holes here. Oh, that's funny. Let's see where his G power is. I haven't even seen that yet. Huh. I'm not seeing it. Where is it? Ah, oh, there it is. Lift up his arm there for you guys. So he is at 830 Gs, which is pretty good for Mectanium Surge. I feel like they vary a little bit, but that seems to be just about right. I think the uh, the wiki says here the Aquas has 910 or 790 and the Pirates has 810. So 830 is the second highest. Um, pretty good there. I wonder how he compares to my other back. We're going to have to take a look at the other Mectanium Surge I have. I like how Mectanium Surge ended up making things so movable. Like, if you take a look at 
Mectanium Surge Bakugan compared to B1, like B1 or B2 Season 1. The difference is incredible. They just got so intricate with it, which I love. Um, just being able to move the arms like this and stuff is super, super nice. But uh, yeah, I feel like he's... I feel like they used his model for another Bakugan, like one of the Marvel ones. Like maybe it was um, Red Skull. I'll have to pull that up really quick. All right, so here's my Iron Man. And yeah, I wanted to compare him because he looked so familiar with the feet and I finally figured it out. Um, yeah, so here is the similarities. All right, well, okay, Iron Man, come on. You can do your thing, there you go. So he is a bit shorter, I guess, but the hands are the exact same, which is what I was looking for, except there is no spot for Baku Nano. The G power is in a different place, obviously, because this is die cast, but the hands are so similar. And even like the head, how they push down is similar. This part of the like shoulder blades is similar. Oh, even the back. Yeah, there are so many similarities. That's really cool. Huh. I knew he was familiar. I just couldn't place it, but now I know. That's awesome. So yeah, they used Wolforio model to make the Marvel Bakugan uh, for Iron Man, which is really cool. And, and all the Marvel Bakugan are recasted like this. But that's just, I don't know. I thought that was a little interesting. I was like, he's so familiar, but I can't place it. <laughs> so let's, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and see how he closes. So the feet obviously go in. It looks like the head eventually will lock in, probably like that. Yeah, okay, let's hold that down. And then I guess his hands, which are already really awkward, need to somehow roll in. Okay. Good enough, I guess. And then this one, okay, he isn't too bad. He's just, the hands are really floppy, but. And then that will go, ooh, feels like I'm hurting him there, but hand must go in right uh yeah there we go it just slides in cool yeah well forio's got a lot to him he looks kind of like infinity dragonoid on like the little arrowhead right there um but of course he's got this wicked looking like it's not really a horn it's more of just like a crest but still really cool i want to do some rolls with them most of these mectanium surge bakugan do not roll very well um I guess it's like the die cast metal on them and how like rigid they are, but I don't know. It's all right. But yeah, that's uh, that is Wolforio, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little mini review. I don't expect the video to be very long, but it's just cool to showcase. This is my last Mectanium Surge back gun I need for Arc 1. I'm still looking for Radisson in Arc 2. And then I also just need his Baku Nano, but in terms of like the back gun itself, Arc 1 is complete, which is really exciting. Um, I will probably do another video on that, just showcasing all of Arc 1. Ideally, I get Lanzado before I do that for the Baku Nano on him. But if I can't find it, I can't find it. And I'd rather release the video to give you guys content and just knowledge on Mectanium Surge rather than just leave it up in the air until I find a Lanzado. Because this Baku Nano, it's important, but it's not the end of the world when I can just explain it. So, uh, yeah, let me know if you guys want to see a video on... The first arc of Mectanium Surge, all the main characters and stuff, I'd love to do that. I think it'd be a lot of fun. Other than that, my name is Jesse, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.